Drycon, fire heated Drycon, and now the regular. Oh, about a minute in. <clears throat> you can see how the paint is absorbing the heat, and uh, it's starting to on the HCWL board, the white one, it's starting to into mess or swell, and that uh, ash barrier is starting to to protect the substrate, the substrate underneath. Drycon is uh, showing the wear and tear of the pyrolyzation from the flame, the heat, but it is not adding to the flame spread whatsoever. It appears this oriented strand board here, the regular untreated one, has already got its own burn going if you look at it. Take a screwdriver, and if I and if I can poke it through here, we'll know that the integrity of this wood is gone. No problem, poking it right through. Just shot. In other words, if that was your building, you'd have to replace it. Even though there for half an hour, two torches on there uh, for 40 minutes, and and one on for for an hour. So it's been a constant source of flame and heat at, at 2,000 degrees, roughly per head of uh, Tiger Torch. So we're at 252. I'll turn this off, try to get this on, a, on an angle. Uh, it looks like a, a relief map. Yeah. HCAWL has grown up to 16 times its original coating thickness. It's uh, absolutely no volatile organic compounds in it. Perfectly safe. Why wouldn't, everybody has to repaint. Why wouldn't you repaint with this product, which is available in any color? Won't go through there, won't go through there. A little bit through there. That's our, uh, oh, it's actually still raw wood back there. But I'm poking W well, an hour. A little bit of spiralization there. You could, in theory, just scrape that off and repaint it. Back of the board, all you can really see is where I poked the screwdriver through there in that one weak spot. But it, it's basically intact. 